How's it going guys? My name is Mac. This is Cherry Bomb and today we're going to be installing the Victory 4x4 center console molly panels. Now the reason that anyone would install these is quite simple. It's just for organizational purposes. It basically allows you to have greater options in your center console area and since it does come with two you can put one on your driver's side and your passenger side so you can put stuff on the passenger side that you don't need to get to as often maybe in case of an emergency but then stuff that you're going to need immediately daily you can put on your driver's side let's see what we need to install to install you're only going to need four things obviously you're going to need your molly panels you're going to need your included hardware which is your spacers and screws from victory 4x4 a phillips screwdriver and a straight punch all right, let's move into the install. I already did a run on the passenger side just so I know what I'm doing. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is move your seat all the way back. This just gives you the most amount of room to work and so you're not fighting the seat. All right, so install for this, honestly guys, is very, very easy. I'm very impressed with how easy this goes on. So the main tool you're gonna to wanna to have right now is your pick. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to pick where exactly you want your panel. I chose to do mine tight up and kind of centered like that. We have a little bit of wiggle room depending on how you want to kind of mount things. So personal preference, I'm gonna do that just cause how I do the other side. You're gonna hold that with one hand, keep it nice and flush. Use your pick and you're gonna mark those holes. And so if you have a nice sharp pick, it's gonna leave a good indention. And so you're just gonna go to all three, one in the front, one in the back, and one right, before, right above, excuse me, right above their logo here. I'm just gonna indent it and then take it off. Find those same indentions. And then if you don't have a uh, pick that's sharp enough, no worries. But you're just gonna wanna drive it in there and get it nice and wide and bored out as possible. And also make sure that your pick is not wider than the screws themselves because then the screws are gonna have nothing to bite onto. Move in the circular pattern, boring it out just like that. And then great. That's all done. You're gonna take your included hardware and what you'll need for a third gen Tacoma is you'll need three spacers, which are these little plastic spacers, and three screws. And then what it'll be is it'll be screw, molly, spacer, car. So you can choose whichever hole you like. I think on this one, I'm gonna start with the top this time. So we put our screw in there just like that. And then you're gonna wanna have your Phillips screwdriver handy. And you're gonna wanna do, again, screw, organizer, spacer car you want to get it up here and then you just want to get this first one just started you don't want to clamp it down all the way but you just want to get started so you can have it screwed in there so it'll hold itself up and then repeat for the back and the front here so screw organizer spacer and this is why i want to leave some wiggle room just so that you can actually get behind it to put that spacer in and then just barely start screwing it in just like that so it's on there but it's not gonna fly off and then last one screw organizer spacer car and see we have it nice and loose so we have room here there you go we start getting this once you get that last one in I'd clamp that one down and then I jump to the back jump to the back get that one nice and tight and you don't want to get it crazy tight because you are just going into plastic and so if you go too tight you will just end up having a bigger hole and you'll have nothing to screw into and you have to relocate the entire thing but just like that, once it's solid and moves as a whole, you're done. And then you can start to organize and put your pouches on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. That was one of the most painless installs I've ever had. If you guys want to keep up with all the things that I'm up to, click on the everything link down below. That'll take you to my Instagram, my shop, all that good stuff. If you want some hammer down merch, you hit that link below as well. The everything link has my coupon code on there and you can save some money in the process. But thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the Instagram to see what I'm up to. God bless. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So that's going to wrap up the install video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a, honestly one of the painless so to install, you're only going to need four things. You're going to need your molly, 